This video is not financial advice. I'm not a financial planner. I'm an entertainer, baby. I'm a piano player. That's right. He's the king, the one and only piano man, Billy Joel. The one and only a father in the house, baby. Wow! So look, I've been looking at a lot of YouTubers, AMC YouTubers, and it seems to be pretty much like uh, everyone's in agreement that the Moaz is coming real soon. You know, some people are saying a matter of days, a matter of weeks or a month or whatever the case may be. As much as I want that to happen, you have no idea. I can't express to you how much I want this Moaz to happen. It's, it's, forget it. I am going to go absolutely crazy when we, when we Moaz. I might be running around naked, scaring a lot of people residentially. I might have to go to another neighborhood because I'm going to go absolutely nuts. People are going to see me screaming, dancing in the street. I'm going to go completely ballistic. But we also have to be realistic and, and, and kind of accept that may not happen. Now, we want it to all happen. I know we're going to Moaz, but maybe it won't be in a few days or maybe it won't be in a few weeks or a few months. So the A follower has come to a lot of decisions. OK, so once again, you know, when I first started the GoFundMe page, when I first came onto the Ape movement, I thought it was a great idea. I winded up donating over three thousand dollars to help my our eight brothers and sisters in need. But that just turned into a very bad thing. It called me the scam father, the fake father, all this. Okay, whatever it is, the fraud father. <laughs> okay, the fraudster, whatever they call me. When I did nothing, nothing at all that was even a... How could you call giving money to help our eight brothers and sisters a scam or a fraud? But, but let's put all of that aside. That's all that came of that. Once again, Ape Island. I thought it was a great idea. I thought it was an idea that could be a catalyst for AMC. Now they're calling it Scam Island. They, they joke around to break my balls. Prague Island. <laughs> All this stuff. All right. So this is what we're going to do with Ape Island. Okay. Ape Island is only going to happen already after the AMC MOAS. I decided today. That's the update. So in other words, I can assure you no money <laughs> will be taken from any ape. No money. Let me repeat it. Are you listening? Commander 35. No money will be taken, okay, until after the AMC MOAS, of which we will draw up a contract where my attorney will protect your interests 100%. If anything, if the land was sold, all apes will be returned all of their money that they put up, plus depreciation or de uh, depreciation. So once again, I repeat, Ape Island, not happening until after the AMC MOAS. The way I look at it, it's going to be like our uh, reward. It's going to be a trophy. You understand? Why not? have a place that after we're all rich and we're all millionaires that we could all travel to first class all the way and party with each other. We're family. And it'll be a great place for us to all get together. We could share our new ideas because now that AMC is finished and we're all filthy rich, we could talk about new ventures, new ideas. It could be a wonderful place for us. Maybe we could even have a golf course on it. Okay. We could all play golf. We could be drinking. We could be partying. I think it's a, a phenomenal idea, but for after the Moaz. Now, I'm still taking email reservations, okay? So in other words, let me repeat, just because you send me an email, I don't want nothing from you. I don't want no money, zero, nothing. I just want an email. So after the Moaz, I will be prepared and then we can get the party going, okay? Now, let's put a, a file into rest. We gotta talk about the protest. I don't, I'm not getting a lot of responses. I have to tell you, I'm really not for the protest. Like, I mean, I see in the comment section, a lot of apes will say, ape father, we have to protest. Ape father, you, you know, you got to make that happen. You got to protest. But I'm not seeing a lot of people email me saying I'm in for the protest. So once again, it's January 28th, New York City, Wall Street. The time will be announced closer to, to uh, you know, obviously January 28th. And the idea is to protest by the SEC offices on Varick Street. And I was thinking about even possibly going up to Citadel, okay, and protesting there as well. So now New York City is their main you know, location now, you know, Mr. Ken Griffin's in New York. Okay, baby, Mr. Ken Griffin is in New York. So we should definitely protest his ass. But I'm not getting a lot of responses, and I'm confused by that. So is it the fact that you're all just so cocky and you're all just so confident 
that we only got a few days or a few weeks or a few months and there's nothing else you got to do. So what happens? I know you're going to say FUD. Listen, I want the Moaz just as much as you. Stop breaking my balls with FUD. Every FUD, 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 FUD. Okay, so what happens if we don't Moaz in the next, you know, two months or three months or whatever, it, what it is? What are you going to do then? Okay, you got to take protesting seriously because protesting is our way to get major media coverage of everything we're going through in this eight movement. And if you guys don't take protesting seriously, we're not going to get that awareness. Okay, I always give a cat, you know, cat striker credit because she did tremendous with the banners and and the airplanes and everything. She, God bless her. What a true ape. And God bless her for everything she's done for our ape movement. But we should continue in her in her honor to do even more awareness. So the ape father is also going to start asking people to email me now. I'm in for the protest. So my email, Richard, R-I-C-H-A-R-D, L is in Larry, E is in Edward, 101 at gmail.com. I'm in, Ape Father, for the protest. January 28th, New York City, baby. Let me know if you're in. And, uh, you know, Ape Island, still email me the reservations. I'm in for Ape Island. No money is due until we're millionaires. Is that fair enough? Is that fair enough, Commander 35? <laughs> you uh, little weasel bull breaker. Uh, fraud. Everything is a fraud. You're a fraud. When you were born, it was a fraud. Okay, your, your, your friggin' parents, uh, you know, mixed you up. It was a fraud. <laughs> That's why you ended up with the friggin' Ted Bundy family. I can't stand that. You know what I don't like about that guy? Look, I understand he's trying his best now to provide content and, you know, put the regular people together. I think that's great. It's just you personally, you're a jerk off, <laughs> okay? Because you make accusations of people that are not true. It, when you make accusations, you have to you have to have what's called, there's a little thing, it's called evidence, it's called proof. It's called proof. You, everything, everything you're doing is a scam. Yeah, where's the evidence? Where's the evidence, baby? What's your name? I'm not providing my name, Ape Father. I'm not providing my address, Ape Father. Yeah, all right. Real credible source, baby. AMC to Pluto.